student on target of e study channel in this lecture i will complete 20 mcq questions with answer this is third series on semiconductor basis the first question is hall effect may be used for which of the following the first option is detecting aircraft communication channel signals second determining the carrier concentration third determining whether the semiconductor is p or n type and last one is calculating the mobility and the correct option is that determining whether the semiconductor is p or n type so hall effect is used for determine semiconductor which is p type or n type the next question is select the correct statement regarding a semiconductor the first option acceptor level lies close to the valency band and this answer is correct because acceptor level lies close to the valency band in valency band there is a holes and holes is a acceptor second option is n type semiconductor behave as a conductor at 0 kelvin this is a wrong answer third one donor level close lies close to the valency band this is also wrong because donor level always lies close to the conduction band because in conduction band there is a electrons and electrons are the donor and the last option is all of this this is also wrong the correct option is that acceptor level lies close to the valency band the next question is what is the fermi energy of a n type semiconductor first one is e second one is fermi level is equal to conduction band energy plus valency band energy divided by 2 third one is fermi energy is equal to energy level of conduction plus energy level of donor divided by 2 last one is fermi level is equal to energy level of conduction band plus energy level of acceptor divided by 2 and the correct option is c in n type fermi level lies close to the conduction band and in conduction band there is a donor level so the third option is energy level of fermi level is equal to energy level of conduction band plus energy level of donor level divided by 2 the next question is diffusion current is due to first applied electric field over a given distance second variation in carrier concentration third random motion of holes fourth recombination of holes and electron diffusion current is due to the variation in carrier concentration so the correct option is b the next question is drift current is due to first applied electric field over a given distance variation in carrier concentration third random motion of holes fourth recombination of holes and electron and the correct option is applied electric field over a given distance the next question is what is the average net velocity in the direction of the electric field first option velocity of electrons velocity of holes drift velocity collision velocity and the correct option is the drift velocity because when we apply electric field then electron flows so this drift current is due to the applied electric field more the electric field more the velocity and so the average net velocity of electrons in the applied electric field then this is called drift velocity the next question is why does a gradient occurs in a semiconductor 
first option because of current flow because of diffusion current because of drift current and last one is because of difference in concentration gradient gradient means variation and this variation occurs due to different concentration means holes and positive one side is high concentration and other side is low concentration this is called gradient so why does a gradient occur in a semiconductor and the and correct answer is because of difference in concentration this is a correct answer the next question is the equation jn is equal to q into n mu n into e and the unit is a divided by centimeter square represent and this equation is drift current density the next question is what makes up the total current in a semiconductor and total current in semiconductor is due to drift plus diffusion so the correct option is c the next question is in the hall effect the electric field is in x direction and velocity is in y direction what is the direction of the magnetic field this hall effect is used for the determining the semiconductor material is p or n type in this electric field is x direction and velocity in y direction then magnetic field is the z direction so the correct option is z the next question is in hall effect the electric field applied is perpendicular to both current and magnetic field and this is a right so answer is true the next question is in which of the following semiconductor the concentration of holes and electrons is equal and we know that in intrinsic semiconductor number of electron is equal to number of holes so the correct option is intrinsic the next question is what is the si unit of conductivity and we know that conductivity is the reciprocal of resistivity and the unit of resistivity is moho so its reciprocal is inverted of ohm so the unit is moho of conductivity and the correct option is b reciprocal of moho meter the next question which of the following band is just above the intrinsic fermi level for n type semiconductor and in n type semiconductor fermi level is just above which band the question is that which band is just above in intrinsic fermi level for n type in n type donor band is just above the fermi level so the correct option is donor band the next question is n divided by p is equal to ni square is a correct formula it is a wrong n into p is equal to ni square is a this is a mass action law in intrinsic semiconductor number of electrons is equal to number of holes is equal to this is constant this is called intrinsic carrier concentration and the correct formula is n into p is equal to ni square so this is for this is wrong formula the next question is in diffusion the particles flow from a region of dash dash to region of in diffusion electrons flow always from high concentration to low concentration so the correct option is high to low the next question is which of the following parameter describe the best movement of the electrons inside a semiconductor and the correct option is mobility 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एट एब्सुलट जीरो टेम्परेचर विच लेवल इज बिलो द फर्मी एनर्जी लेवल इन केस ऑफ एक्सेप्टर एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज वैलेंसी पैन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डू द फर्मी एनर्जी लेवल चेंजेस इन ए सेमी कंडक्टर यस फर्मी एनर्जी लेवल इज डिपेंड्स ऑन कॉन्सनट्रेशन ऑफ होल्स इन वैलेंसी बैंड एंड कॉन्सनट्रेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द कंडक्शन बैंड सो द ऑप्शन इज ट्रू The next question is, which of the following expression doesn't represent the correct formula for drift current density? And we know that drift current density formula is J is equal to sigma into E. Sigma means Q into n into mu. So the above A and B are true. This is a drift current density. Third one, J is equal to mu into E is a wrong answer. The next question is, identify the correct condition for a semiconductor to be electrically neutral. And the correct option is ND plus P is equal to NA plus N. ND means number of donor plus P means number of holes is equal to NA number of acceptor plus N number of electrons means both positive and negative are equal. So same in this condition semiconductor are electrically neutral. Please like and subscribe.